Hi OTs, this is Stephanie from Passa OT. I'm gonna be going over another question for you today so I can teach you how to break down questions using our five simple steps. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get every question right with five simple steps. Simply fill in the blanks or write it down on your whiteboard and remember the mnemonic, RWD PBA. That means read with diligence and patience before answering. R, read the question carefully. W, what is the stage of the OT process? D, disease or diagnosis. What is the patient's disease? Is it progressive or non-progressive? P, problem. What is the patient's problem? What is the patient's level of performance or function? And what are the patient's priorities or goals? B, bold. What is in bold and caps? Example, next. What is it specifically telling you? If no bold or caps, what would you highlight as being essential to answer the question? A, answer. Is your answer addressing the problem, question, or goals? So now I'm gonna read the question out loud for you. A patient with middle stage Huntington's disease is being seen by a home health OT on a weekly basis. The focus of OT intervention is to monitor the patient's needs and recommend home adaptations as necessary. The patient lives with his wife and teenage children and premorbidity was independent in all his ADLs. His wife reports that her husband is becoming increasingly frustrated and upset every time he deals with the family's finances. He seems to be finding the task more difficult, and as this exasperates his symptoms, she is offered to take over managing the finances, but her husband is a proud man and refuses her help. How should the OT deal with this, pro this issue? A, provide the patient with a calculator and a budget app to help him manage the finances. B, advise the family to leave the patient alone while he is working on the finances so that he will not become distracted. C, since the patient's goal is to continue managing the family's finances, advise him to accept his wife's help in order to reduce his stress level and symptoms. Or D, advise the wife to talk to the bank about automatic bill payments. So let's go through our five simple steps. R, are we reading the question and what are our key facts? The key facts are Huntington's middle stage, managing finances exasperate symptoms, and will not accept help from his wife. S, what stage is the question in of the OT process? Regular intervention. D, what is the patient's disease? Is it progressive or non-progressive? It's middle stage and it's progressive. P, what is the problem or focus of the question? The problems are managing finances is stressful, stress exasperates symptoms, and will not accept help. Priority, to continue managing the family's finances. That's what he really wants to continue doing. C, what is in all caps or in bold? What should the OT do if it's exasperating his symptoms and it's making his disease worse? So are we addressing the problem? So what is the answer? The answer is C, since the patient's goal is to continue managing the family's finances, advise him to accept his wife's help in order to reduce his stress levels and his symptoms. So we want to allow him to remain in charge of the family's finances with assistance of his wife. His stress will be reduced and his symptoms will not become exasperated. Also, he will hopefully gain more insight into his disease. It is progressive and he will have to accept more help in all areas of his life over time. So this this topic is very important in regards to neurodegenerative diseases. We have a great chart available in the PASA OT web course that outlines all the different neuro, neurodegenerative diseases. It gives you the definition, examples, lots of photos. So really go over um, this information in more detail. Um, I recommend looking at this chart after, we, after you finish watching this video. And let me know if you have any questions related to it or what topics you'd like me to go over next. Um, I will be making another video tomorrow. And remember, Pass the OT is here to help you from the day you sign up to the day you pass and beyond. Have a great day. Bye.